Hey everybody, I wanted to make a real quick video today. Um, if you've watched a few of my videos about the wood that I get for free, sometimes I always talk about how free wood really isn't free. And I'm not talking about dimensioned lumber. If anybody has like some leftover lumber, that's great, you know, if they're giving it away for free. But I'm talking about wood, like wood wood. So the reason I say it's not free is because it takes a lot of work to process this wood. And um, so let's take a look at what I got going on here. Um, a, a friend of mine called me and he said that he had a whole bunch of extra wood left over and he was uh, checking to see if I was interested in picking some of it up. And so um, in the back there is some walnut, these longer uh, trunks or whatever you want to call them. These are cherry, okay? Got some cherry up here. Got some walnuts st stacked up against the uh, door there and that one piece of cherry there. So the reason why I say that free wood isn't free is because you have to you have to pick it up wherever it's located, you have to transport it to wherever you're taking it, and then you have to store it, strip the bark off of it, and then process it. And so you can hire a bandsaw mill to come out and process the wood for you. I have a pretty big bandsaw, so I try to take care of that myself, even though I'm not sure how I'm going to get this big boy up on that bandsaw, because this guy weighs a couple hundred pounds. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, right now, as you can see by this huge mess on the ground, this is from stripping two logs, and i got to clean up this mess once I'm done. Um, the reason you want to strip the bark off is because there's a layer between the bark and the wood. I think it's called the uh, cambium layer. And it's a soft material, and um, bugs will, like beetles and things, will lay their eggs in that layer. And then when the larvae uh, hatch from the eggs, they bur burrow into the wood, and that's what gives you the woodworms. So if I strip the bark off as soon as I can, it dries out that layer, and it keeps the worms from growing, at least for the most part. The problem is that... The cherry is a little bit older. It's It's been down for longer than the walnut has, and I, the walnut, I can't strip the bark off. It's just on there too tight. So I have to let it sit for a little while before I'll be able to strip the bark off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna strip the bark off of this four foot cherry log right here. You can watch me struggle for a little bit, and then I'll finish up with some final thoughts. So we're at the um, we're at the end of March here, or actually it's like yeah the 23rd of March. So we're just coming out of the the winter, and as you can see already, you see these worms. So they're already have uh, hatched and are chewing away at this wood. So that's the reason why you want to strip these as soon as you can.
Okay, so now the goal is to get these guys up off the ground. You can see I've got this one right here already up. Just try to get it. I feel like if I keep it off the ground, it'll reduce the chance of it rotting on the ground. I got a couple of pieces of yellow birch right there, and they're not doing too good, and I don't have anywhere else to put them right now. So, to recap my hypothesis, unless you have the means, like your own bandsaw mill, free wood really isn't worth it. It's a lot of work, and by the time you put the time into it or you invest in the equipment to process the wood, unless you're going large scale, I mean, this is for the hobbyist woodworker like myself, it's really not worth it. And then, on top of that, there's people I see on Facebook, on Marketplace, and on Craigslist actually trying to sell their down trees. And we're talking like two, three year old trees. Who knows how worm ridden those things are. And uh, so I just think that it's a sucker's game. Um, I do, If do I wish I had a bandsaw mill? Oh yeah, I, I could tear up some trees with a bandsaw mill. But for a guy like me with the 17 inch bandsaw that I have, um, this is about, right here is about my limit. And it still is a lot of work. Um, I'm gonna have to wait and let these guys rot out just a little bit so I can get the bark off of them. And then I need these to dry out a little bit just so they're light enough for me to handle and push through my bandsaw. Cause right now with full of water, I just can't do it. So anyway, I'm not sure what the point of all this is. I just thought I would share cause I know that occasionally in my videos, I'll say that free wood isn't free. And that's kind of what I mean when I say that. So I hope you enjoyed this. Go ahead and hit that like button if you do. Subscribe for more videos. I'll see you guys next time.